Bonilla against Oscar Diaz. Diaz, a guy I think you might like. Let's meet him now. We'll go to the center of the ring once more. Jimmy Lennon. And ladies and gentlemen, we continue our action this time with Junior Welterweights in the ring and about scheduled four rounds of action. Introducing to you our referee in charge of this bout, we have Rafael Ramos. All right, fans, here we go. Presenting first on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks with red trim, hailing from Tupetlac, Mexico. He weighed in at 135 pounds. His record, six wins, three losses, with five of his wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Gonzalo Rocky Bonilla. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the blue corner in this four-round attraction, wearing black trunks with white trim. His weight, 139 pounds. His record, three wins, no losses. All three wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the undefeated fighter representing San Antonio, Texas, Oscar Diaz. Once again, Rafael Ramos now to give instructions for rounds of action scheduled. Okay, you receive the pre-fight instruction. Recibiste las instrucciones. Protect yourself the whole time. Protégete todo el tiempo. Good luck. Buena suerte. So we're set to go. A uh, four-rounder. Oscar Diaz and uh, Gonzalo Bonilla. Bonilla, five knockouts and six wins. Diaz, a guy who did not have benefit of a long amateur career, and he's kind of learning his job here, but he's he's learning from a real pro, Lou Duva. And Duva's very excited about the Diaz. I think he's had some uh, amateur experience, but you're right, Barry, not a lot of it. He, he was around long enough to win the uh, 99 National Junior Olympics Championship and the 2000 Texas Golden Gloves Championship. But now here in the uh, year 2001, they're keeping him busy as a pro. And Lou was saying, uh, you can teach a kid to box, but what you can't teach is character. And uh, this kid, he said, has a ton of character. In fact, today being Father's Day, uh, Lou was telling us this morning, his phone rang about 9 o'clock in the morning, and Oscar was on the other end saying, uh, come on, Lou, it's Father's Day, I'm going to buy you breakfast. And Lou was talking to you and I about when was the last time he remember a fighter buying a manager breakfast. Well, you know how long Duva's been around, and he said that was a first for him. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Fighters don't often pick up the tabs when they're with their trainers. That might be said about most athletes. <laughs> For me, it's trying to uh, wing punches from long range, but uh, he may have trouble with it with the bigger man Diaz here with that long reach of Diaz. Diaz could be pretty quick handed, too. For me, it's fairly heavy handed to five KOs in his six uh, uh, victories, but he has the KO in his last two outings. Bonilla bearing a facial resemblance to former champion Bobby Chacon. Yeah, he is. That helps in the marketing. You bet. You bet. You bet. <laughs> well, you were right about whackout, mate. <laughs> yes. oh, there's, there's a combination. They're not taking too long tonight. Here comes Diaz now. Look at that uh, perfectly timed left and the right hand over the top. Bonilla was just backing off, but he left himself open. He left that left hand out there. Diaz immediately preyed upon that little opening that he had. Like the follow-up right, right after the left. 
didn't stand there admiring his work when he landed the left hook. Uh, that was very impressive, and uh, even came back with the right hand that caught Bonilla before he hit the canvas. So quick left hand, and it was good night for Gonzalo Rocky Bonilla. And uh, for Oscar Diaz, four up, none down, and don't you know, we're gonna see him again. And a local favorite, so he pleases the crowd. Pretty good story being built here around this 18-year-old from San Antonio. Let's make it official. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, with the time of one minute, 47 seconds in round number one, our referee, Rafael Ramos, stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout. He is still undefeated, Oscar Diaz. Delighting the crowd here in San Antonio, and it's a two-way street. Really a love affair going on between the city and this young 18-year-old. So here's a guy uh, whose name to tuck away the back of your mind, because I have an idea that you're going to see him again. Oscar Diaz, now 4-0, did so tonight in impressive fashion. We'll be back.